Well, hello everyone, Louis Farm Guy here, and welcome to the Giants Holiday Let's Play special number uh, 14. No, 14, yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you've gone to your favorite store and you go to open the door and it's locked and you see the sign says, move to a new location. And then it gives you that, you know, the, the, the particulars. It's like, oh, go, go here now. And that's what we have done. We have moved to a new location. Yes, I, I was growing very tired of the topography at the old location, so we just pulled up roots and uh, we brought orange with us, as you can see, uh, most of our favorite orange and some newer orange um, of a few things. We'll go over that. But here we are on Prairie Farm, Michigan by Taylor Farms. Yes, much flatter, much less uglinessness um, I mean uh, it was a very nice map that we were on before but it was just I was just not feeling it and it was becoming somewhat unenjoyable so when this popped up I, I had to look at it and uh, <clears throat> had a view of my good friend there farm sim snowy his review of the map and it seemed like a nice place to make uh, a new home. So let's have a take a look. Have, oh, why do I always say that? Let's have a take a look at what we got here. This is the map, uh, as you can see, very much more square. We have a couple of angles here, but generally speaking, nice square or rectangular, nice uh, hard straight edges. Um, and another thing that I do particularly like about this map is the main farmyard uh, it had some buildings we cleared them off we'll make it our own the uh the dealership is right next uh, door right across the highway as you can see here it is a john deere dealership however um we can get them to paint stuff orange for us uh they do have um well anyways let's pretend they have the facilities uh, it's a very nice, large um, area here uh, for super big uh, equipment if I choose to buy it. There's no problem uh, buying stuff and getting it out. It is a tad, well, compared to the size of the lot, the exit here, mm, yeah, you know what? If Even if I had it open, uh, most stuff would come through here and uh, any of the um, <clears throat> um, harvester headers will come on, come through here, attached to a harvester, no problem. And the farmyard is really wide open. I have placed a uh, a grain quid. Uh, let's get our help windows on here, just for this, so we know what's going on here. Um, I don't have anything in there at the moment. Actually, that's what I was going to do. I did swap out this trailer uh, to have something a little bit more mobile, a little bit smaller. Um, I did, uh, we did harvest. So if we go to crop types, crop growth. So uh, we own, we own this plot here, plus the farmyard, plus this little area here, which is kind of handy dandy. There's a shed on there. I left that there. Uh, really nice plot of land. This is actually one field, yet it is. Um, hold on, there we go. It was uh, actually split into three uh, different areas with uh, wheat, uh, corn, and soybeans. Um, interestingly enough, uh, the wheat was ready to harvest, and as you can see here, uh, it was has been harvested by me. And I've taken the straw off. We just have <clears throat> um, the wheat here. Now, as far as... Th there we go. Unload. Come on. Unload. There we go. Uh, the one thing I did notice about this map, did the, uh, the shadows are quite dark. Um, but you know what? Um, I can live with that. It is not a, uh, it's not a hard fail. So <clears throat> we will deal with that as it was, as it is. Let's get that, uh, oh, field info. There we go, help window off. Now, as for cell points, uh, there's not a lot of cell points here. It's pretty darn simple. 
we have a grain silo south and prairie farm prairie farmers market and they are both actually just down here this is the grain silo south and the prairie prairie farms mark farmers prairie farm farmers market well wow, that's hard to say prairie farm farmers market two of them down there and so uh, pretty much oh let's get there we go sugar oh yes and there's sugar beet a sugar beet thingy um oops let's go back to our map sorry there we go uh right here there's a huge sugar beet um cell point or it's a kind of like a factory it is actually a, a factory but there's no chance in heck that um I will be doing anything with sugar beets so let's go ahead and um, take our grain wheat I'm gonna need a little bit of cash so I haven't cheated as as in you could say cheated any uh, money in it was all the original equipment and buildings uh, that I sold and I repurchased what I thought I needed <clears throat> So it is basically new farmer mode and everything that it had here. I just sold the equipment that it was came with and bought my own. And of course the wheat was ready to harvest. So uh, we haven't got all the equipment back yet. Um, so we're going to see what we end up here. I <clears throat> uh, we're going to have to go ahead and start seeding <clears throat> that field that I just harvested probably. And um, so, what did we get? What did we get? Well, we got the Kubota and the um, the soil tester back. Uh, this is new, a Fent 1050, something bigger, but it is orange, and I was able to make it orange. Um, this was from not base game because base game one you can't change the color on. This is part of the Fent Vario package. Yes, the Fent Vario package. Um, I will. I can't remember who it's by right now, but we will put that in the um, information description. We got our uh, lizard, uh, fake Peterbilt lizard uh, back. That was Adams Kong, if you recall. Uh, we we brought the Alice Chalmers. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I like it anyways. <clears throat> the 50 foot uh, trailer with the uh, the unreal slurry tank we're gonna we're gonna continue with the organic <clears throat> this is new because we have corn I had to buy a corn header so we're, we're gonna go with that as I said the uh, grain quid uh, grain uh, let's get the silos it was I'm sure it's Missy B's um yeah the the comp small storage compact storage um i thought it was missy b that did this but i could be wrong now i can't remember uh because it does have liquid uh and anyways uh that again too i'll have uh in the dis it's the same one that i had on the uh the other map and of course our uh colossal Oh, we might as well shut this down. Uh, what did we end up? Two hundred thousand dollars. Is that going to be enough to buy our cedar that we want? Uh, cedar, cedar, cedar. Um, we're going to go again with the uh, plant anything. Oh, there's also alfalfa on this map. Not sure how we're going to work that. One hundred ninety-five, one hundred fifty-nine thousand. Well. <clears throat> let's see here extinguisher no wheel chocks work lights uh front back everything there we go and should we make it fancy dancy orange metallic just to be a little bit different and just orange matte and corn corn yellow really no no that's not good, good. A red orange just just a different uh, shade of orange I guess we could always change it later so we'll buy that um, let's park this uh, we're gonna come up we're gonna need this not too far from now 
But what we are going to have to do, um, since we've drained our, <laughs> we are going to have to soil sample all our fields since they have not been yet. And uh, we're going to need to know this. So, um, yeah, I don't think it's worth soil sampling. <clears throat> the planted crop soybean doesn't well I guess we should yeah we're not gonna fertilize anything right now at least not not the soybeans because we don't have any fertilizer if we're going organic I don't uh, I guess I could buy it we're a little short on cash at the moment okay let's open this up and uh, oh okay so we are we are going to get a big ch I didn't get the biggest one this time, as you can see. It is pretty big, though. But it's going to take a few... It will take a few pictures uh, to, to get the... Um, this this field is pretty big. I'm going... To, we're going from a very tiny uh, farm to something that's uh, quite a large size. And it's easy to forget how big some of these fields are even with uh, I might actually go I might actually go back and trade it in for the really really big one but this isn't going to be too bad it's just going to oh uh, yes this is our there's a ditch between the two fields here that's what's separating these two fields so that's not going to be too hard to separate um, from when you're seeding and so forth and uh, so anyways that's yeah we're going to oh this corn's starting to get uh, get on it's probably be getting pretty close to uh, harvest time so I'm in a pretty good mood today um, just finished watching the uh, Chiefs play the Jaguars. It was uh, it was uh, a stressful game. Uh, those of you who may or may not know, I am a Kansas City Chiefs fan of the NFL, although I don't live there. I have been to a few games already, which uh, which are which was very enjoyable. However, I not, not obviously not this one. Anyways, they won their um, playoff game, so. They're on to the next round, and they're waiting for the results of the uh, Buffalo Bills and Cincinnati Bengals uh, to see who uh, they're going to play. Um, so, anyways, yes, that, that was me today, and that's uh, kind of why uh, the Farm Sim Report has not been... I uh, haven't had one of those uh, for a couple of weeks due to, well, not having so much news to talk about. And just there's been playoff, basically kind of playoff football Saturday and Sunday and life otherwise. So anyways, to talk a little bit about that, I'm thinking of moving it to a monthly instead of a weekly thing just to kind of, it is it takes me a good portion of the day to put it all together so since i do pretty much fill my every weekday with uh with activities um having having that soak up my pretty much a half a saturday mm, probably not for me, not at least at this point, uh, time, um, economy of time, and being able to spend a little bit of time with uh, with the wife is probably more important at this moment. Uh, so it's not going away completely; it's just being condensed a little bit. I think I'm going to run it, like I said, once a month. And since I've finished yapping about that, we have finished sampling our fields right so we can uh, just close that for a moment and get our help window on because I can't remember um, 
to send soil sample. There we go. Soil samples will be sent. There we go. We can fold that up now and go drive back. So we have uh, tested our all our field. We don't. It's only one field. It's pretty big. It's broke as I said. Where it's broken up into three little fields, or well, uh, three sections. Uh, soybeans here. So soybeans not going to require. Oh, I guess we can take a look. Uh, grow, oh, okay. And see, uh, the sampling hasn't been done yet, so still should say whether or not our yield potential expected yield six. Well, it's that will improve as uh, as we go. Um. It looks pretty clean, so not not weed free at the moment. There we go. Soil samples are complete. There we go. So everything's perfect here in the. Uh, well, that's very nice. Let's check it out here. So there's our uh, soil types: sandy loam, loam, and silty clay. So not bad. Uh, pH apparently is decent. Uh, nitrogen, of course, nothing here, and uh, the uh, the soybeans won't require it. However, the corn would, but we don't. Uh, we'll 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 see what we. It's going to be difficult to. Uh, we're going to have to run with it as it is, and um, go from there. So let's park this puppy up over here. Actually, we've done soil. We've done the soil sampling. It'll be good for five harvests, I think, is what the five or six, if I recall. So let's take a look at our little barn uh, that came with the with the uh, the farm, and we'll park it over here, just like so. Uh, here's our straw that we collected off. Um, it's two hundred thousand, a hundred, uh, so one, two, five, little over five hundred thousand liters of straw. So that we're saving that for our liquid, uh, uh, liquid manure production. Here's our uh, one of the, the forage pickup. Um, so let's, uh, yeah, all right. And what's next? Oh yes. So. I think um, to keep things simple for the moment, we're just going to go ahead and seed, uh, reseed that that land that we uh, just purchased. However, we have to yes, a little bit of unrealism here is going to happen. Uh, with the weights and a little bit of fast farming. So what? I need is this with the three point links. Yes, go. Of course, we have to make it orange. There we go. And then this one, uh, warning signs. No, we don't. We don't. We need the three point and we need to make it orange. Uh, oh, uh, warning stripes. So we don't have warning stripes. So there we go. We'll buy that. And that is our that is our uh, fast farm tricky tricky Ricky for the two point link on this cedar. And if I can sneak in here, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, whoa, come on. The twin wheels are uh, give, there. We go, giving me some problems. Right here we go. Hook it up. <clears throat> the only problem with the twin wheels on the front of this, I forgot, is the turning radius is terrible. I may have to adjust that. All right, okay, there we are. And we could lower that down a little bit. Anyways, we will readjust that now for seeds. <clears throat> um, 
How much money do we have left? Uh, I guess we should just go with buying some big bags for now. Uh, sugar, slime, mineral feed, pig food. Where's the seeds? There's the seeds. Uh, yep. And since we're going to go with soybeans, we're not going to need fertilizer. That's going to save us a little bit of money right off the bat for a little while until we can get our um, organic um, fertilizer production up and running. And we don't have the cash for it right now. I need a little bit of need a little bit of cash to uh, um, have some 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 liquidity if you say uh, we need some cash around for expenses and so forth and so on um, yes there are ditches here and that um, is slightly annoying however the fields it's not at the end of the fields at least not mostly anyways um, so it can be dealt with. Oh, I just knocked that, whatever that was, the uh, mailbox, I think. Woo. Oh, we're here already. Uh, right. So as you can see, it's a little bit of a little bit of an issue. Uh, could be. So I'll have to do. We'll do the. Uh, um, headlands here. Uh, oh, no, 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 there we go. Uh, we don't want it all the way down. Let's turn it on. There we go. And yes. So off we go. To do the headlands. And then, um, and then we wait. Uh, let's see. I do believe if, uh, if we take another quick look up here, growth. Oh yeah. So no, this is not actually the soybeans. Looks like they're going to be coming into ready to harvest before the corn will. So that's okay. Soybeans pays out pretty good. And we and what was that? What what is that? How much? How much do soybeans pay out? Uh, two oh in July. I think it's a little late for July's thirty seven and twenty one. Yeah, we're we're gonna hit. We're gonna be kind of. We're selling not at the best time is what's gonna happen, uh, just because we we're a little short on funds. And let's turn that back on. Uh, not turn, not lifting it up. Turning it on. There we go. So yeah. That's what I'm going to do for the next little while is we're going to replant this. It's nice and square. What actually what I'm going to be doing is uh, just doing the headlands. Yes. And then uh, the worker will do the rest because um, really um, it's not going to be a problem for the worker because it's a big, nice, big square field. Uh, is it not seeding? That's that part really. Is it doing that? Yes, it is missing those little spots there. That is odd. Uh, why is it doing that? Is it? That's weird. Hmm. I guess it just doesn't like that spot for some reason. That is kind of strange. I guess. I guess there's there's the chance of some weirdness uh, with this map. It is a it is a fairly new map. It looks like uh, the entire border is kind of got that little bit of a strip there that it doesn't want to be planted. Hmm interesting anyways um like as i said um that's actually not that doesn't bother me as much as you might think
<laughs> All right, so enough talking, I guess. Now, what's the plan going forward um, after this? Um, what is the plan? I guess we just kind of wait and uh, wait for the the next crop. We're not going to get any straw from any of these, so it's just harvest and selling the crop and uh, uh, getting some more money to uh, buy the uh, liquid manure production and getting that set up and then we can start um, with getting crops that produce straw and um, s well yeah so that's the plan is he going to go into no he stopped very good is he going to turn around he's going to turn around very good well I think the next uh, 30, uh, we're gonna <clears throat> we're gonna have to get some kind of a lime spreader set up um, to get um, yeah. So I'm gonna have to think about that. We're not gonna go with manure this time. Uh, the liquid uh, manure is good enough, and we're gonna forego the uh, manure production because it's just a little bit too slow. The uh, the slurry spreads out and uh, anyways so um we're going to see you in a bit when the other things um when things happen so see you see you in a bit so we are back and a few things have transpired as one could imagine now obviously here we have our liquid manure production set back up we've actually put it nice neat nicely and neatly in this corner over here um We've set up a couple of buy silos for the wood chips. Well, one's a wood chip. This one here is going to be a little bit of my, um, <laughs> shall we say, a little cheaty. Well, okay, maybe a lot cheaty. Uh, I'll get free stuff out of this. We'll talk about that. Well, let's talk about it right now. Um, it's my one little um, indulgence. It's the field will work fill station. However, this one gives me free product yes free uh, not everything just um, like seeds lime and and so forth and so on but anyways um, we have where is he oh yes this fellow here I've been liming are freshly seeded come on let's go so uh, yes I have uh, bought a front loader uh, um, for the Kubota and I've uh, repurchased the Kubota uh, lime fertilizer spreader. We'll only lose, use it, lose it, use it for lime. So uh, we got that. We'll take this back to the uh, farmyard. Now I did a couple of contracts, actually three harvesting contracts. So uh, which afforded me a fair bit of change in order to buy these items and uh, purchase a few things. Uh, we'll go back to the uh, farmyard here. We have uh, sold the house. They came and took it away. It was just too much for me. I like going a little bit more, um, shall we say, simple living. As we'll see over here. Someone had an old bus they converted into a camper and we dragged it over here. There we are. Here's my, here's my home. <laughs> right, so, uh, what else has transpired? Well, we had to buy a tanker for water. So here we are, here's the uh, TLX tanker again, the 48 foot tanker trailer. Uh, we've repurchased that. Um, that's uh, that will hold everything. Of course, we had that. That was already there. Uh, we purchased a few more of these uh, for the straw. I will show you where I put the straw. I purchased this trailer. This is a different trailer, the homemade bale trailer. Uh, I can actually fit four of the pallets on there. Very handy. Whoops. Um, and so the three contracts I did do. 
Uh, There's just fertilizing contracts now, but the three contracts I did, let's look up here, uh, were t 4, 12, and 15. Uh, 12 had wheat on it, so I was able to uh, mm, borrow the straw off of it, shall we say. Uh, what else? What else? Um, so, which brings us back. Oh, I put a fire hydrant, the Omatana fire hydrant, of course. Fire hydrants over here. I bought our basket again. If you recall, our mobile buying station basket, so we can buy some stuff there if we, uh, you know, if we don't uh, don't want to cheat in some free stuff. Oh, the uh, 82 Studio buy anything silo here because we will have to buy wood chips, which we will in a minute. But we have our straw here. We have uh, one to four hundred and. Mm, oh, why does it say water? There we go. Uh, for 500,000 roughly liters of straw. And that should do nicely here. We should be. Come on. Oh, it's not unloading. Don't tell me it's not unloading into. Oh, I couldn't. Re I can't. Did I, did I not remember that this doesn't uh, take. Let's see if I do it this way. That's going to be a pain. I'll have to buy a trailer. Oh, there we go. It is unloading. Maybe it was too high. The trailer, the trigger... Uh, the trigger could have been um, a bit low on this. That's okay. We'll just take it off. There we go. Now, let's look at our productions here. There we go. We have water, straw, we're going to need wood chips. So, now where is our, okay, let's drop off our fertilizer spreader first. We'll tuck him right here. There we go. We still got some lime in this. Let's just go over here. Uh, I got some weight on the front because it was really heavy. There we go. We should be able to dump that. There we go. Oh, we still got a little bit left. Let's just throw it in our silo. There we go. Now let's buy some wood chips. Not a lot of trees on, on this map, actually. Uh, let's see here. Do, do, do. Oh, no, not that way. Wood chips. Come on, where's the wood chips? Oh, dear. Wood chips. There we go. So we'll buy ourselves... We should have enough money. We should. We'll. We'll buy the full two hundred thousand liters. Let's see. How's our straw doing? Almost empty. This one's empty. This one's still emptying. And we still have straw stored in our barn. Actually, there we go. Uh, remember in our barn over there, we have uh, we have about three more. Yeah, three more um, transport bags full of straw. These things are super handy, actually. They're kind of well, they're mini silos, really. Um, I'm starting to really like them a lot. They are very, very handy dandy. And, um, yeah, very, like, interchangeable. You throw them on here, you can use them. Yeah, oh my goodness, they are just... They are really starting to... Uh, um, be super useful for me. Uh, let's see, come on, empty out, empty out. There we go. 
so uh, yeah um, we got that uh, we're gonna have that let's get this is still emptying let's see if we can dump in some um, see if we can dump, dump in the chips wood chips too yes oh yes we can unload them both right so we can turn that on now and we can start making our slurry right on so yes what's next um well i don't think any if any contracts pop up I'll probably do those. They are quite lucrative, uh, but nothing's close to... Well, we see 10 and 11 here. It looks like they're going to be close to... Oh, but uh, it's sorghum. Yeah, well, we, well, that's what it is. It's fairly easy to do. Con Look at... See, I do like... It's very easy. Uh, even though with the ditch, there's a few ditches here and there that the worker gets hung up on sometimes, but no big deal there. And of course... We're going to have our uh, our crop on our fields ready to go pretty soon. But um, here we go, emptying straw. Wood chips are emptying. Oh yes, very nice. Um, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and um, next time we'll uh, continue to grow our. Uh, farmyard maybe um, well, we'll just see what happens um, kind of expand on the farmyard and get things up and running and of course the precision farming is active everything else is going forward um, continuing on from the uh, from the last map as it were and uh, probably who knows what will happen next but anyways Thank you all for watching. I'm Looney Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game, so till next time, bye for now.